Now it's time to add some images. And the good thing about images is that images are also just static files, like CSS files. They just serve a different purpose. But therefore adding them works just like CSS files. If you have images that should be part of your application, of your website, you add them like CSS files. It will be a bit different if we're talking about file uploads, but that's something we're going to dive in in a separate section later in the course. Working with file uploads, that's a separate thing. And therefore, for the moment, it's really straightforward. We just drop our images into these static folders as we did with the CSS files. Now, I prepared a couple of images for you, which you can use if you don't have your own images. I will warn you, one of those images contains me, so if you don't like my face, you definitely want to pick your own images. Attached, you therefore find a zip file with four images, and all those images belong to the blog app in the end, because they are a part of the starting page or of the dummy blog posts we're going to add. Therefore, I'll go to my static blog folder, and in there, I'll add an images subfolder, and then paste those images in which you find attached. And again, that's one image which contains me and then a couple of uh, screenshots or other images uh, which we'll use for the dummy posts. So with that, we got the images. Now we want to use them. The good thing is static files are already enabled. And therefore, all we have to do here is we have to go to index.html, so to our starting page template. And then, for example, here, where I want to have an image that well, shows me, I again use the static tag to generate a link to that static asset. And now it's that max PNG file in the images folder in the blog folder. So here it's blog slash images max PNG, just like that. And if we save that and reload, hey, here I am. Now I also want to have a dummy image for this dummy blog post. And therefore here, I have my image source here. So there, I'm also going to use the static tag and then include the blog images. And here it's mountains JPEG. And with that, if I reload, that image is also here. And that's the finished starting page. As I said, feel free to tweak this however you want. I'm happy with this state and I now rather want to dive into the other pages which we need. For example, all posts, which is also a page we'll need. 